some months. Question number seven, Dr Cam Calder. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of, the, of Police. Has she received any reports from police regarding methamphetamine? The Hon. Judith uh, Mr Speaker, yes. I have received a report from police that shows an arrested methamphetamine user earns on average $5,623 each month from crime. Dr Cam Calder. Supplementary question to the Minister. What are police doing to address the link between drugs and criminal activity? The Hon. Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, police are actively seeking to reduce the supply of methamphetamine by targeting dealers and dismantling clan labs. Police national clan lab response teams are based in Auckland and Wellington, and they support all police districts to tackle the problem of clandestine methamphetamine laboratories. Dr Cam Calder. A supplementary question to the Minister. Has she seen any reports about the number of clan labs dismantled recently? The Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Yes, I've received a report that shows 13 clan labs were dismantled in June 2009 alone. This is more than double the number dismantled during the same period in 2008. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. <coughs> to the Minister, how, how, does she expect, how does she expect the cuts of $21 million and more than 300 cars from the police fleet will assist police in continuing to battle the methamphetamine problem. Honourable Judith um, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure that the 600 extra police will do a fantastic job, as we always expect from our New Zealand police. The Honourable, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. To the Minister, how does she expect that, ra that raiding other police districts to put new police into counties Manukau will help uh, police in other districts continue to battle the P problem? The Honourable Judith Collins. I don't know why the member insists on making such silly statements, frankly, Mr Speaker. 600 police for the whole of New Zealand, 300 to counties Manukau. Nobody is being taken out of any of the other districts to be able to police counties Manukau. And I actually think it's quite irresponsible for the member to make such silly statements in the House. The Honourable Jim Anderson. Mr Speaker, has the Minister been advised by the police of the most serious drug abuse which causes the most criminal behaviour in New Zealand? And if so, can she confirm that that drug is alcohol, not methamphetamine? Uh, Mr. Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, certainly police advise me that the vast majority of the cases that they have to deal with in the criminal case involve the misuse of alcohol. However, of course, many people will be aware that methamphetamine has been, um, unfortunately, has taken a hold in certain uh, parts of New Zealand and that the gangs in particular have been able to become extremely rich off those proceeds.